Hello and welcome to the Paleo Advanced Movement Guide. I'm going to be teaching you some advanced techniques here, but first we're going to start with the optimal controls so that you are always running at maximal movement speed all of the time with the least amount of input. Now to animation cancel so, so that you can gather faster, but also loot items off the ground without having that put item in pocket animation. This one's a huge game changer. And then, stay tuned because I'm going to teach you how to hunt without slowing down. That means you're going to a be able to run next to the creatures and still kill them and pick up their loot without stopping at all. And then I'm going to show it all combined so that you can loot an entire area, hunt an entire area, forage it all without even stopping to pick anything up. It's going to be awesome. Let me show you how it works. So first off, let's optimize your running speed. Here's what we're going to cover in this segment. We're going to teach you how to go to settings. So to do that, we're going to push escape to open the options menu here. And then you go to settings and then it'll default to the gameplay settings here. Once you're here, you're going this little wrench icon in the top left. What you're going to do is go to the gameplay tab, which is right here. And then you're going to go to sprint setting toggle to sprint so what that looks like is right here on the screen toggle to sprint this is very important so that you're always sprinting all of the time and i'll talk more about that in just a sec but you also want persistent re center reticule off and let me show you why i'm going to turn it on and show you why you don't want this thing on so once you get a bow you see this little yellow icon in the center of my screen let's say that i wanted to shoot at um a, a distant object here Let's say I wanted to shoot at um, the tip of this brown thing. Now, when I hold left click, I'm going to aim, but look at what happens to my ridicule. It's now kind of to the right. So if you get used to aiming with this thing, it will absolutely mess up your hunting aim because it is off center. So that's why you should not ever, ever, ever have the persistent center ridicule on. Now about toggle the sprint. So here's the thing, from a standing position, any direction that I go to, I'm always, always sprinting. Now, uh, I'm using shift button for sprint, so I can turn it off. Yes, of course. But another important thing to just to note is that um, when you zone out and go to a different area, it toggles off your sprint. Now, the reason why you want to have it on toggle and somewhere reachable is because every single, like I said, every single time now I'm not sprinting. Now I hit shift. I just tapped it once. I'm sprinting. I let go of the keys. I'm sprinting once again. Now, I also recommend that you hotkey the V button to auto run. This is because V is not used for anything. It's also accessible by your left hand. So if I want to run to town, I just hit V. And uh, also while using the glider, your auto run is still in effect. So if I turn off auto run now by just hitting any, any movement direction, and let's say I start gliding forward and then let go of my W key, well, I just kind of float in place. So I don't continuously move forward which uh, this can save you a lot of time getting to town from your house. Another thing also is you want to kind of modify your walk button to a combination of buttons you'll never push. So let me show you what I did is I went to the walk section here and I made it alt plus uh, slash. I don't know if that's a backslash or forward slash. Sorry, I'm not that smart. But um, the reason why is the walk button, if you accidentally hit it and its default is control, sometimes it bugs out. Sometimes you will be stuck walking until you log on and log off. So that's why we're unbinding walk entirely. Also, sometimes walk can kind of make your character wonky, where if you look up in the sky, you'll bend all the way backwards. And if you look down, you'll be touching your forehead to your tippy toes. It's a bug. They'll fix it. But that's uh, one of the main reasons why you don't want to have that bound at all and that's it for movement speed let's talk about animation canceling next now the reason we are always sprinting is because it's necessary for the next step the animation canceling the two that i'm going to show you here are how to gather slightly faster it's just a really tiny bump in speed but it also allows you to pick up items with no stuffing it in the pockets animation so first off, I'm going to chop down this tree like a normal player, but I'm just going to hold left click and you will see these fluid swinging animations. And there we go. We got the tree chopped down and then we pick up the item, we stuff it in our pockets. So 
This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to animation cancel it. So we hit the tree, and then we cancel the animation of the rearing back on the arms. And you can see it's much, even though this is a thicker tree, we still chopped it faster than the smaller tree. And then as far as this item on the ground goes, well, I can pick it up without actually... <laughs> a, there we go. I can pick it up without the uh, pocket stuffing animation. This is more so used for forging, not so much for chopping trees or mining stone. And then just another tip too, is that if you're running towards a tree and you want to get a hit on it, like say, let's pretend that this tree here, there's another player already chopping it down and we want to get one hit in before it gets felled so we can also get the loot. And so because we're always sprinting, we can catch it pretty quick. So what normal players will do is they'll run up to the tree and then they'll start mining it, right? And that's actually too slow. What you want to do is you want to be running towards it and then hit spacebar to jump towards it and immediately left click right after spacebar so it looks like this and that way you can get you're closing the distance and you're rearing up your swing animation at the same time and that will allow you to get the tag right before the other player finishes harvesting it but also if you know you want to harvest this tree you can combine it with the animation canceling which i failed to do there that's the normal swing speed okay that's the pocket uh, putting items in your pocket animation. So here we go. We're gonna jump and chop and animation cancel and animation cancel and animation cancel and animation cancel. There we go. And then we're gonna loot it and then we're gonna... I'm gonna teach you how to loot stuff off the ground very, very quickly here next up. So here we have a mountain moral. And uh, here I'm gonna loot these two mountain morals just normally, okay? Like a normal player. So I'm running through... Oh, look! Mushroom. Yoink. Put it in pocket. Stops running. Runs over, yoink, puts it in pocket, stops running. See, that that took a little bit of time there. That slowed us down, that made us stop moving. But what if I told you there's just a faster way to do it? So, oh, we have another mountain moral. Yoink, look at that. I, I didn't stop moving, and I, I kept my momentum, right? So what you want to do, especially when forging a lot of items at once, what here's how to do it, all right? Uh, so all you have to do is have an axe, a pickaxe, a watering can, or a gardening tool in equipped. And um, I'm going to tell you why I like the gardening tool the best here in a bit, just because it kind of makes more sense and looks kind of goofy. But uh, <laughs> it looks like super skillful, like something someone would do. But let's find some just stuff on the ground to pick up, and uh, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Uh, and then next I'll teach you advanced hunting and momentum techniques. But for now, let's just find some lootable objects off the ground. There's, uh, there's plenty of flowers and stuff over here. And so I have a tool equipped, and what I'm going to do is this takes a, l a little get of getting used to. I'm using my ring finger to hold my W key, my thumb is on spacebar, and we're going to jump over the plant. So that's step one, you jump over the plant. As you jump, you're going to push your F key so you loot the flower. Now, that would normally look like this. We jump over it, we loot it, but we still get that little, there's a little bit of pocket animation there. It does stop us in our tracks. So the final step is and it's it's a little bit hard to time at first but you're going to swing your uh your gathering tool right after you push the f key and what that will do is cancel the pocket animation but because you are airborne it, you never swing your weapon in the your gathering tool in the first place so let's find another gatherable object on the ground to pick up here and uh, <laughs> i guess other players have run out and gathered everything we might have to wait till nightfall it uh or I can just... Okay, there's there's some mountain moral over here. So, it's gonna look like this. Spacebar, F, left click. Spacebar, F, left click. Just like that. And uh, that allows you to continue running in a direction, loot the item, no stopping, no pauses, no animation canceling. Uh, now, it's a little different when you're mining something because you're kind of stuck in place. But because we always sprint, we can still kind of do it. So let's say I want to mine the stone. I'm gonna jump at it. And then animation cancel. Now, here's how to animation cancel, which I failed to do on that last hit. Um, let me show you over here real quick. So, animation canceling is you're going to see these sparks fly out of the object. Right? See the sparks that flew out when I hit it? After the sparks have disappeared off your screen and slightly after, you will just left click again. I'm not holding left click, I'm tapping left click. So, tap, wait, tap, wait, tap. Just like that. Alright, so we have a couple items on loot here. So, let me show you with this one. We're going to... We're gonna mine it, animation cancel of course, because it's faster that way. And then I'm gonna run forward, jump, left click. And I didn't mean to grab the wall there. So run forward, 
jump, F, left click. And at that time it didn't work because I was jumping up a hill, which ended my jump animation. So it only works when you're like on ground level. Also, if you're running down a hill, you might jump too far over the object to be able to loot it. So keep that in mind as well. But uh, I'll show you once again here. And uh, we're just gonna animation cancel mine this. And then I'm running forward and then I'm gonna jump loot. And I could have jumped and attacked this one, but I didn't. But it, it, it takes some finessing getting used to, but uh, this allows you to keep your momentum when running around and just looting things, especially if there's a field full of mushrooms or flowers or whatever it is that you want. Uh, this allows you to farm them extremely quickly. So jump, animation cancel, animation cancel. Nope, didn't cancel that time. Running forward, jump F. And that time I kind of failed it because, uh, again, the... It, the, the loot is like way deep in the ground, so that's why that didn't work. But otherwise, uh, look at this mushroom. Jump F, left click. There we go. We got it. Now, the reason why you want to use the gardening tool is it looks really, really interesting, right? So the way it works is your gardening tool, it also kind of forces your camera to be a little jank, which is weird. It also like turns off the UI for a second. But to other players, it looks like you're jumping over an object. And it's a little harder to do on that one because it's in the water, but we still got it. Uh, but the way it looks to them is that you're jumping over the object, you're grabbing the object with the gardening tool and ripping it up out of the ground. And so when they see you run by, they're going to see you kind of like pogo sticking around. And it, it's just the funniest thing. It's just like, yoink! It's like you're grabbing it with the gardening tool. So, let's see. This is not the best hunting area, but let's talk about combat momentum. So this one is combining other movements. And uh, these guys are catching bugs. <laughs> So, it's normal what people do is when they're hunting, they're going to just run around, hold left click, which slows them down, and now they're at walking speed. You can right click, of course, to put your bow back down instead of shooting. And that takes, uh, that, that takes a lot of time, right? Let's grab the flower, which, uh, there we go. And uh, we're keeping the momentum here. Let's say I wanted to snipe, uh, I'll, I'll talk more about the hunting in a sec. Let me get to a better hunting spot, right? And I'm... <laughs> Move too far from that one. There we go. Got it. But uh, it, it does take some practice, but it is, you know, it's like like that flower there. I, I'm still able to move forward. <laughs> I'll get to... There's a really good hunting spot here just around the corner. So I'll show you there. I got to get these resources. All right. And yoink. And see, I'm still able to move. I wish you could move and mine at the same time. That would be really, really crazy. There we go. Grab that. And we're coming up to the hunting spot right now. It's better at night, but uh, it should be fine. And uh, there's not any animals here. Okay, so let's... <laughs> let's grab some more flowers real quick with the animation canceling. Okay, we got some animals up here. Missed that one. Alright, so... Normally people do this. They shoot, they miss, it's whatever. And, you know, they just kill a bunch of, you know, animals, right? But what you need to be doing is as you're running towards an animal, this is kind of hard to do. You're going to jump, hold left click, fire, and then right click to cancel aiming while still in air. So it looks like this. And you're still able to move forward. So you're able to chase animals, and uh, you're able to keep up with them even if they're running away. So again, I kind of messed that one up a little bit, but there we go. And... See, I'm able to continuously move for that fence that was there. And uh, I'm able to just close the distance with these animals. Pretty easy, snipe them all. And what you, what you want to do is you want to hunt an entire area so that other players aren't stealing your kills. Right? Just like this. And I, I kind of walked it. I didn't jump on that one, but... Uh, there we go. So we've hunted all the animals. It only it took a few seconds, right? And then we get the guarding tool out. <laughs> And then we jump over the bags, which it didn't work because I was on a, a decline. There we go. Grab that. Oh, we got an animal. Fishing pole won't do it. All right. But see, because I am... Um, here's what happens. Here's what it looks like whenever you don't right-click to cancel aiming. So we jumped, we shot, and we're kind of like stuck in this walking animation, right? That's why you got to right-click. See, we got a bunch of animals running from us. But because I'm uh, able to cancel that all, that's an item bag. It's, uh, it's kind of like jump shooting in Quake, if, it, if you've ever played that. But yeah, we got a lot of loot bags right now. And look, respawns. Didn't do that one correctly. Didn't do that one correctly either. But, you know, it takes a little bit of practice, but you can get pretty quick with it. Anyway, we're going to get the guarding tool back out now. And then we're going to jump and loot. And <laughs> this one I still need a little practice on. 
But it's, it's still pretty quick. So there we go, grab the flowers. And we're just going to run over all over the fields and loot everything. And what this, like I said, what this does is it lets us can keep up with the animals. If I can shoot the bow, that is. <laughs> all right, there we go, got them. And they keep respawning, stop! Now, if I don't have a, a gathering tool out, I can't cancel that that put pocket away animation very quickly. All right, guarding tool back out, jump over the object, push F to loot it, and then left click immediately after doing so. <laughs> if animals would stop respawning, I can clean up these fields <laughs> with my gardening tool. And uh, it doesn't work if you spam it either. So like, when there's a lot of items like this, you're just gonna have to eat the animation right there. It sucks, but uh, that's just life. <laughs> Alright, and then jump, and then left click, and man, I am bad. You know, I could do it off camera super easy, but when I'm recording, I guess I get a little nervous because people are going to be watching me fail, huh? But you can just see how fast we can just clean up this entire field, right? And once you get used to it, uh, you know, all the animals will start repopping, and we can just clean those up as well. And this is just how you, like, get loot super, super quickly, right? There we go. Without the gathering tool, it's, uh, it's a little slower. And I didn't left click there, but whatever, because we got a couple animals. Got him. Alright. Jump and left click and F. Jump and left click and F. Jump and F and left click. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm telling you the wrong thing. So we're gonna jump over it, F and then left click very quickly. And it looks like we're uh, just grabbing all the stuff with our little pogo stick here. Not a pogo stick, it's a gardening tool. I know the real name for it, but I don't want to say it because YouTube will think it's a bad word. And this person that came to hunt the animals, oops, they're all gone because I've basically eradicated the entire zone. And this, again, this will let you get more loot than other players because uh, most people, once you upgrade the bow, you're one-shotting these things. And so you can't really share loot with other players unless you downgrade your arrows, sadly. <laughs> and just look at all the loot we've collected here. Oh, we got some animals. And because I can keep up with them, <laughs> we can just hunt them all down. And, uh, yeah. Now it's time to clean them up once again. Grab that, grab that. And, uh, see, it's way, way faster. It's so much faster than normally doing it. Of course, you gotta actually pull it off. <laughs> Not jump over it and then miss. And, oh, we got more animals repopping here. Let's... There we go, and you see, you can just farm this field full of flowers and other loot drops, and <laughs> I can get this one. There we go, got it. But yeah, and you don't have to use the gardening tool. You can use, well, you can use, you know, just like a regular axe if you want. It's just, I don't know, it's just not as funny, I guess. I forgot the right click there. There we go. Again, look, like, we're just speed farming loot at this point. Alright. I did not jump there, and I'm on an incline, so I can't really do it. Yep, yeah, there we go. We hit, we've basically farmed the entire area. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just a really nice kind of way to play the game, you know? Look at this poor person trying to find more stuff to kill. We're just out here blasting everything. Let's see, is that, is that it? Let's grab, again, more plants. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing if anyone's, uh, in the, what they're saying in the chat. There we go, grab the items. Alright, well that's basically it for the tutorial. I, I know it's a long one, but uh, <laughs> I just wanted to show you just the, the practicality of it. I kind of maybe want to show you how slow this is in case you if, you if you don't play this game, right? Like how slow it is just to run up and put it in your pocket after clearing out a whole zone. You may think, oh, it's not a big deal. It's, uh, you know, it, you're saving maybe a second or two. It's like, no, when you do this on large scale, when you have a field full of like 30 items, running up to each one and doing this over and over, it's going to slow you down. Other people are going to out hunt you big time. <laughs> See, like, let's let's play normally for a sec here. Okay, we killed the deer, we run up, and then we put it in our pocket. And then we, we hunt the little critters here. 
That one's gonna take a few extra shots. There we go. Run, put it in the pocket, run, put it in the pocket, and <laughs> you want, while this is the lazier and easier way, it's not as, uh, it's not nearly as fast. There we go, shoot that one. That one burrowed. Okay, so we're just looting normally. We run, we put it in the pocket. See, see how long that takes? That takes forever. You don't want to do that. You want to, you want to <laughs> hop, you want to bunny hop around like a quake pro, just sniping all the, all the beasts. And then, you know, <laughs> you can't animation cancel it with the bow because it opens the uh, ammo menu. But yeah, you just jump over the object, you, you hit F, you left click, and you keep moving. <laughs> It's awesome. It's it's truly the advanced way to play, and I hope the devs never fix this. I, I I feel like this is a skill issue, right? There we go. Let's grab that. Grab that. Grab that. We'll switch the bow. Unfortunately, we did that one normally. <laughs> uh, I could do this all day. Except I didn't jump there. It's fine. Whoa, my chat's like getting real weird. Okay, stop shaking chat. That was spooky. I don't know why the chat was like vibrating at 10,000 miles an hour, but... <laughs> oh, man. All right, it's scooping up all the items with our <laughs> with our gardening tool here. And and you know, these, these spices are really good for cooking and stuff. But yeah, I just farmed like two entire zones super duper quickly, right? And, and you can too. It just takes a little bit of practice and uh, Again, you know, you can do it. You can do it to trees with the animation cancel now with the trees Sometimes there's two sparks because of the hitbox. You got to wait for uh, The spark to completely disappear and then a second after not even a full second and then left click again And you can chop it faster than normal. So Again, we'll chop this one normally here and oop. oh Man, that's so slow dude. That's so painfully slow. Oh my god but at least we can, you know, jump and loot it and be running towards the next area. Anyway, that's it. I haven't seen a single other player in this game using advanced movement like this at all. Not not even not even close. <laughs> so if a player like me is out hunting, you're you're not getting anything and they're getting or pe people like me, they're get, we're getting all the kills. We're we're just going to get all the loot and we're going to make way more gold per hour. Grab that garlic without stopping. It's it's so simple. Now there's a few things like uh I have not found a way to actually, uh, like, animation cancel fishing. You know, that's a, that's a hard one, right? That one, you're kind of stuck in all the stupid animations. But, uh, you know, these other things, you know, you can just run around and just body these, these critters, right? I failed. <laughs> I failed to do it properly. But, hey, we got a few items here. Grab that. Grab that. I don't think we properly grab that. It's a little hard sometimes when the terrain is uneven, so... There we go, got it that time. And you may be thinking, well, all the times that you've messed it up, you know, you're losing time. And it's like, no, 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 no. It's once you practice and get used to it, this th this will speed you up immeasurably. You can kind of do it with the with the, the bug catching things. You just have to right click to cancel it. Uh, it's just, it doesn't work as good. Uh, it's You're, you're kind of stuck in the animations and you have to hold it longer before you can release. Unlike the bow, where you can just shoot way sooner. That makes sense. We're about to migrate to the other hunting area here. See, we can move. We're, we're covering like every spot on the map, just completely emptying it out per day. And and again, this makes thousands and thousands of gold, even after the antler nerfs. Right? I mean, look at all these flowers. Just jump over them. You know, do the animation cancel. And we we can follow this thing, right? Got to cancel that. See, look at it. Look how fast and smooth this movement is. I missed that, <laughs> of course. Trying to make a tutorial video and we miss. Here we go, grab that. And look, look at all the loot. We, like, that guy's just standing around. That was two items in one. You, you can't really double loot. And, uh... There we go. See, look at that. That was perfect right there, what we just did. We, we ran towards the beast, we killed it, we looted it without stopping at all. Without losing any momentum. I mean, look, at it's just beautiful. It's amazing. Alright, well, if you're still watching at this point, I do appreciate it. If you have any questions about how to do this, just, I read every comment. I have no life, okay? So, just, uh, just let me know, and uh, I'll help you out in the comment section. 
And uh, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be uncovering a lot of other glitches and advanced ways to play and, and all that kind of stuff. I'm going I'm to really cover this game hard, so stay tuned. Leave a like because it helps and share it with your friends or whatever. <laughs> or don't, you know, surprise them with how good you are, you know. <laughs> anyway, I know I this, this video dragged on like crazy, but I wanted to show you several examples and talk to you about what's going through my mind as I'm showing it to you. And uh, as far as any other kind of general movement, it's not faster to spam the glider or anything unless you're, you know, like on a really high mountain and you just want to maintain. Like the gliding speed after the initial slowdown is the same as the run speed. So you get from point A to point B faster. Also going up hills and jumping like that does not make it faster. I have timed it for hours to make sure that's the case. Uh, just as long as you're constantly sprinting, you're like, you're fine. And that's it. That's all you need to do is just sprint towards your target. And, uh, I really want to go to the one of the primary hunting spots and just show you how ridiculously fast you can clear them all out. You can clear them out so fast that the game forces respawns on them, and then you can just have, like, 30 loot bags on the ground. So, cancel that, cancel that. We failed that one. We still kind of canceled. There we go. Aw, uh, that would have been a really sick shot right there. And look, this guy came to hunt, and, well, they're teleporting around. Oh, I almost got that one, but I, you can also do it from range. You know, there, there's, you don't have to run up on them. It just makes it easier to shoot them. See, like, I'm in competition right now with another player, right? But because, <laughs> two actual other players. And uh, because I can move and shoot, and because I can also loot faster, like, I'm going to get more of the lion's share here. See, like, they're stopping to pick all those objects up. And uh, I don't have to stop. I can continuously move, whereas they can't. So I can pull ahead of them. If it was a race, I'd be way ahead by now. Go grab. And look, look at all this. See, they're still back there looting. I'm already, you know, back over here. I just <laughs> stole that kill. And if I was looting normally, I would have never gotten that kill. Like, in an alternate reality... And because I can also, like, chase the target, and move, and shoot, and loot, all fluidly, I am the breadwinner. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Look how smooth and how fast this is. And look, they're still shooting at that one, and I'm able to chase it. They have to stop and slow down, and... Not me, though. Look at that. We got them. Easy. <laughs> It's, it's, it's too, it's too broken. Please don't nerf this. It's way too fun. It really, may, it brings me back to like my old FPS days and competitive gamer days. You know, <laughs> I'm an ex-pro gamer, by the way. I, this whole channel, if you're new to this channel, and, I, and I'm glad you're here if you are, uh, I just optimize how to play games, man. I just, I just make sure that you're, you know, spending the lowest amount of time possible and getting the most progress done. That's, that's what I aim for at every game that I play, right? Grab that. I wanted to end the video, but I'm having too much fun. <laughs> uh. All right, look at that. We have, uh, <laughs> we're just mega farming, man. We are absolutely getting it. All right, looking around, we're scanning the horizons <laughs> for more huntable animals, anything we can pick up off the ground to make money. Ah, uh, there we go. We got. Uh, Go ahead and grab that. Can't cancel it because I have the bow out. And uh, we're going to shoot all the crit critters. There's someone down there. Alright, clean this up. There we go. Anyway, okay, this video's getting a little long now. Oh, respawn right on top of them. Got them. Alright. And see, well, I failed that one, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, and again, we can, you, you know, we can mine the copper by... You know, doing our techniques. Grab that and move, move, move. All right. This is too good, man. Got it that time. It took, it took another pass, but hey, you know, we're still moving. Do a leap attack on that one. I missed, and it didn't work because it, it was up a hill. <laughs> oh, boy. One more hit. All right. And then I'm, I'm still messing it up. Come on. Stop messing it up. It's the end of the video. All right, that's all I got. Again, thank you so much. Make sure you like the video. It really helps out. Let me know what you think. And uh, stay tuned for more. 
just want to really drive the point home how powerful this is. Not where I want to go. And, oh, also, one last thing. On the right side of your screen is a video that you should absolutely click. And, um, if you don't click it, then the devs will patch it. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'll see y'all later.